Do you have a loved one that has not received their eternal salvation? Hi, my name is Sean, and today I'm going to talk to you about praying for the salvation of loved ones. A childhood friend of mine uh, was agnostic for many years, and he was a kind, generous person. He thought about others and would often put others before himself. I knew that living a good life and generosity would not be enough to receive salvation. I wanted nothing more than for my best friend to accept and receive Jesus as his Lord and Savior. For years, I was there for him. I would ask him questions about his beliefs and he would ask me questions about my faith. I was there for him when he needed a friend and would pray for him daily. His wife prayed for him and they would go to church together, but he still didn't believe. One day, after many years of praying, my best friend received his salvation. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 3, verses 6 through 7, I planted the seed, Apollos watered it, but God has given, has been making it grow. So neither the one who plants nor the one who waters is anything, but only God who makes things grow. What the scripture is saying is that a person's salvation is not on us. Our job as believers is to plant the seed of the gospel or to water the seed that has already been planted. We can do this through being present in their life and being the salt and light. We can let our lifestyle and our actions mirror that of our faith. We also can pray for our loved ones who has not accepted the gift of salvation. I have a list of loved ones who I pray for daily, but ultimately we have to trust that God loves them more than we do. And we have to know that the Holy Spirit will draw them to their hearts, to the heart of their loving Father, God. Don't give up hope and planting and watering seeds of the gospel, but instead have faith and continue to pray. Let's pray. Jesus, thank you for the gift of salvation. I pray for our loved ones who have not yet received you. I pray that you place people around them to plant and water seeds. And we have faith that you, Holy Spirit, will grow that seed. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen.